Hey, it's Grappy Peep Susanna here today for DLS Design. I am sharing with you this grid uh, multi-photo layout. So multi-photo in that there are four photos, but it's actually a photo collage on a four by six. So I have pre-cut from some of the pattern papers, these letters, as well as some squares um, with some hearts. I used a um, different company's uh, die for that, which is why I did not show that um, on camera. But um, one of the bits of the kit are these uh, cut aparts uh, with the squares. And so I'm going to mix some of these different color squares um, with the squares that I've pre-cut. And um, so I have this series, it's called Breaking Out of the Box. So they're grid layouts that you try and make look less boxy. Um, and so my thought was that I wanted to uh, have the squares of the pattern papers, as well as this four by six or six by four um, collage of spring photos. So I am using the Spring, Mem Spring Memories collection, which has a bunch of mini collections within it. I'm going to apologize right now. I'm sorry, I, I cut myself off there, but my camera slid. And so you can see how the bottom half, or it's like the bottom eighth, 16th of the layout. Um, you're gonna miss what I'm doing down there, but I will definitely talk you through it. And it's not a lot, it's just a border um, that I have down there. So I am uh, going to cut more squares because I want a little bit more of that darker aqua um, in there. You can see I just have one. I have definitely want that Hello Spring because my idea was that it's going to say Hello Spring Blooms is the title of the layout there. I am not sure what I'm doing down the bottom here, um, but I think there's a border down there. So I um, am going to cut uh, the six by eight paper pad, and I'm going to cut that so that I have two strips for down the bottom. Oh, I have an assortment of embellishments down there. That's what I have. Um, and I definitely am going to put some embellishments at the bottom as well to just tie something from um, the top to the bottom. I also have a embellishment that is sort of square-ish in shape. It's kind of like a speech bubble, um, and that will pull all of the rectangles uh, or the the box seat shapes from the top um, and put something at the bottom to tie again the top to the bottom. So um, I just, there we go. That's how I get that darker piece in there. And I think it it pulls the contrast of the dark in the photo, the shadow of the daffodils there. Um, it, it pulls that a little bit and ties it all in together so that you don't just have that heavy dark weight in the center of the layout there. So just looking for small little bits and pieces that I can fill the openings of some of these hearts with. Um, also a few elements that will tie the boxes together. Um, so that there's a little bit that crosses from one box to the other that just sort of softens that grid and the hard lines of that. So I love this little truck with um, that's loaded up with flowers that are ready for spring planting, as well as um, some gardening tools. So I'm going to use that again for that spread there. I've also got a little bit of white space between the title of um, Blooms, the, bl the Blooms part, and the bottom of those squares there. And so I want a little bit in there, but I don't want to um, fill it completely, just enough so that it just doesn't look like it's glaringly obvious. So I'm working at the bottom of the page here. And again, I apologize for my camera shifting. I didn't realize that, that I had done that. Um, and there's no way to reclaim that. So what I'm doing now is I've cut um, some striped paper and I'm putting that down the bottom as well as a couple of embellishments. So once that's done now, I am committing to all of these squares. So here is the lovely T-square. Those of you who've been following me for a while know that I have a love-hate relationship with this thing. I need to get a better one. This is just a cheapy like $2 T-square and it literally, it's not heavy enough that it stays. I need mine weighted. Maybe I just need to put magnets on it or something. Um, um, so that it stays straight. See how it keeps shifting and I have to hold it straight. What good is it if it shifts, right? Especially if you're trying to line things up. Um, so I'm really not a stickler for them being perfect. I don't know like that it's definitely an eighth of an inch between each of the squares. In fact, you can see that um, on those outer two, there's probably a little bit more space between the yellow and that dark teal. It, that doesn't bother me. I'm not... Um, 
like I said, I'm not that much of a stickler for it. So that white square that is up there, I will off camera actually go and machine stitch um, a heart into that. Um, I do do a few things off camera and unfortunately you can't see what I end up doing at the bottom. Um, so just building up these squares, uh, I, like I said, I've committed to where they're going. I've committed to the bits that are going to be in them. And I don't think I do much else off camera. Um, other than what you can't see because my camera shifted and you can't see the bottom of the screen, unfortunately. So for some reason, my uh, picture mate is not printing um, to the out borderless. Even though I turn the borderless option on, it is not printing borderless for some reason. So I always have these white borders that I need to cut off to make them symmetrical. Um, and I want to frame this photo because it isn't exactly six by four. Uh, and looking back as I'm filming it, I wish I had done something darker, um, but it is what it is. And actually it's not bad light. I, there's merits to both. Um, I can definitely see merits to both. I think if you have a lot of color in the photos, which I do, and they're distinct, right, collaged photos, that you could lose um, the depth of them, uh, which I, maintain the depth by having the lighter border, the lighter frame framing around the photo. But um, I think that because the lines don't look like they're the same, right? The border lines are the same as the squares. Um, it sort of takes away from a little bit of the symmetry and the continuity of the layout there. So I'm using one of the strips at the bottom to just line up bloom as I try and put that in because um, I don't know where my T-square is at this point, but you know, I'm not good with the T-square. So um, <laughs> this works perfectly. Just line it with the edge of the um, page there and then the photo because that's what I want the line of that to be and um, put that in. So again, all of these papers are from the Spring Memories collection from um, DLS Design. So I have the actual kit collection itself as well as um, some of the mini kits that I'm using. Um, this is primarily the main kit itself though. So the um, paper memories collections from DLS, DLS Designs, they come out quarterly. Um, so you're going have a spring memories, you're going to have summer memories, fall memories, and winter memories. Um, and so and within that, each of them has a, a small, has, has smaller mini kits. And the idea is that they are for um, pocket memory keeping as well as um, just memory planners as well. So you're smaller, you don't have 12 by 12 papers that come with these kits, I don't believe. Um, but lots and lots of ephemera pieces uh, that are smaller and lots of spaces for journaling. So that was a little um, sign that says garden that I thought was super cute at the top and it's pointing to the flowers um, that are in uh, the daffodils and the single crocus are my garden. The magnolia at the bottom left is um, at work. And then the, um, I'm pretty sure those are Bradford pears, but I'm not sure the pink trees at the top left, those are um, in our neighborhood. So fun little spring embellishments that I'm adding in just for some um, variety, break up the box, soften it. And uh, what are these? Oh, those are gardening gloves. Um, so I'm actually going to put those down with the trowel and um, other garden implement down there. <laughs> um, and it just, there's a fun scattering of flowers, bees, so springy type things that are there. So the ladybug that is in the um, top flower, I will move down and then stitch in that heart. So enjoy the close-ups that are to follow. If you have any questions about DLS design, please don't hesitate to leave those in the box down below. There's that bottom strip. You can see it better. Thanks for stopping in today. I hope you're doing well. Come back again soon. Take care.